In this video, I'm going to show you what jigsaw blade to use for cutting metal. Traditionally, and most of the time, you'll use your jigsaw for cutting through wood, but that's not to say it can't also be used to cut through metal. So here's, just to show you the difference, here's a traditional wood jigsaw blade. As you can see, the teeth on there, if at any point it wants to come into focus, would be great. So as you can see here, with a traditional wood cutting jigsaw blade, it cuts on the upstroke, and you can see we've got these quite large teeth. Obviously, if we ever attempted to cut some metal with that, you'd break the teeth off, and your jigsaw blade would be rendered useless after the first inch of cutting. So we're going to show you the types of blades you can use to cut through metal. So we've got a few different types here, but they all look very similar. You'll notice that in a minute. So we've got some DeWalt blades. Again, you can see there's some very fine teeth. We can almost hardly see the teeth on there. <clears throat> and they're only a shorter blade to give you more stability when you're cutting through thin metal. I wouldn't definitely recommend not cutting through thick metal, only sheet metal ranging from about one to three millimeters thick. And we've got some Bosch blades here. Bosch blades are always good, they're probably my personal favorite. And as you can see, they've got a little bit more of a tooth on there. So you can probably cut through your metal a bit quicker as long as you're holding your workpiece securely and it's firmly attached to your bench. <clears throat> and then we've got the Mac Daddy here. We've got the Festool blades. Again, similar to the Bosch, in fact, perhaps somewhere in between. Not quite as, as deep a gullet as the Bosch jigsaw blades, but they've still got more teeth than the DeWalt, so they'll probably cut through your workpiece a little bit faster. 